What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you about elapsed time. So with this tutorial, you'll be able to calculate um, how long it takes to perform a certain action. Um, so we're just going to go straight into Xcode and see, we'll call this elapsed time. Uh, go ahead and create. And first we're going to head into the viewcontroller.h. We're going to have an IB outlet of UI label um, elapsed time label and then we're gonna add an action as well IB action uh, we're going to calculate uh, time so for this you'll be able to see how long it takes to perform a certain action I'm um, just gonna add in the stub for this here and then head into the viewcontroller.xib change this to 3.5 add in a label and add in a button and change the button text to calculate time and we can just leave the label as is it's not that big of a deal and touch up inside uh, to connect with everything and this is where we're actually getting into the actual code so cf uh, absolute time and so we're going to do the start time and we're going to do cf um, absolute get current and then we're going to do another one this time with the end time and in order to uh, calculate the final result of how long it actually took we're going to do abs uh, CF absolute time uh, we're going to do elapsed time and that'll just be equal to the end time minus the start time and there we go and we can also we're just gonna print out exactly what that is so on the label we're gonna do elapsed time label dot text is equal to and a string string with format at quotes elapsed time colon percent f because it's a float and we're gonna do elapsed time and now this is um, what you want to calculate so you can put whatever you want in here if you want to see how long just a certain action how long it takes to happen um a lot of times with xcode everything appears to happen instantaneously um such as like moving an image or setting an image i don't know there's a bunch of different things you can do but in order to get the actual time how long it takes um that's what you put the code in here so we're just going to do a for loop because it's that's um easy to manipulate and make more or add more parameters to that. So we're just gonna do int x is equal to zero, the condition x will start at 100. So this will just happen, this basically means that this action, if you don't understand for loops, all this is doing is that whatever is in here will happen 100 times, essentially. Um, we're gonna do ns log, and we're just gonna print out um, the current value of x in the console. And now let's build and run and see what we get. So when we hit calculate time, uh, you can see that in the console, um, it printed out all the labels and it told us exactly how long it took. Now we can do it again, and it won't give us the same thing every time, that's normal, um, just variations with the CPU. And you can see it printing out, It you can see it's not instantaneous, um, printing out every value, you can still see like halfway. Um, but it happens pretty quick, like that's not that long. Um, but if we wanted to, actually slow it down we could add in we can make it go to a thousand so it'll go it'll print all the way up to a thousand i uh, basically count count to a thousand so we'll do calculate and you can see this time you can actually see how long it takes to actually perform that action and you can use this for a bunch of different stuff just gauging how busy the cpu is or just to if you wanted to show your users also how long a certain action took um, this is a great code for that uh, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.